Hello. Have you ever felt so overwhelmed that you didn't know what to tackle first? Well, I have had to eat many elephants in my life. And let me assure you, it works best one bite at a time. Our fast-paced corporate environment puts so many demands on us. We have different projects on the go. We have different priorities to set. We have to fulfill customer demands. We have to deal with employee issues. We have to fight fires almost every single day. And at the same time, we have to deliver numbers. How can we find time to work on our personal development? How can we take people off the shop floor and put them in a classroom? How can we fulfill our customers' needs, our own needs, and the ones of our employees at the same time? How can we find the energy to do all of that? A very smart person once said, if you know the why, the how becomes easy. Most companies recognize that times have changed and that they have to do things differently in order to stay competitive in a global market. They know that a change in mindset and attitude is a must-have in order to get to the next level. The biggest obstacle seems to be the how. Wanting to do something but not knowing how to make it happen can be so overwhelming that it is easier to stick with the status quo. Sad, but true. In reality, it doesn't have to be so hard. You don't have to eat the whole elephant all at once. Piece by piece, day after day, and some pieces may have to go in the freezer to be eaten at a later point in time. And here's the secret. You don't have to eat him alone. Here is some simple advice on how to get a change process started. Always, always use the bottom-up approach. Go to the people, talk to them, and ask them for their feedback. Listen to their input. Internalize their feedback, but don't take anything personally. It is their perception. Thank your employees for their constructive feedback. Use this as a golden opportunity to make improvements, not only in your work environment, but also within yourself. Develop an action plan. Commit 100% as a team to follow this plan. Hold each other accountable. Celebrate little successes along the way and provide regular progress updates to your employees. Once you have checked off every action item, go back and repeat the whole process by starting to ask people questions again. There is no doubt that starting a change process requires courage, energy and determination. But when I look at you, you look pretty courageous. Believe me, Many have done it before you and there is no reason why you can do it as well. Always remember, excellence is not a skill, it's an attitude. And I will see you next week again. Until then, be the best you can be.